welcome to our children's and family service this week. We are from St Michael's Church in Braintree and I'm Rachel. Aren't I going to introduce you? Of course I'm going to introduce you and this is Fizz everyone. Fizz has been part of some of our services haven't you? Right, well, how are you this week Fizz? Oh no, you're a bit bored. Oh dear. Lockdown can be a bit like that, can't it? It can be boring. But you know what? Shall I tell you about something I did this week, which was actually really fun? I got to meet up with a friend and have a socially distanced walk. Oh, wow, yeah, it was really great fun. And you know what? My friend kindly gave me a belated birthday present, something she'd made for me. Do you want to see it? Okay, let me show you. It's this. It's this. Can you see that, Fizz? Can you see that at home as well? It's got a heart on it. It's a bracelet with a heart. And that reminded me of a verse from the Bible about God's love. It's from John 3, 16, and it goes like this. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that's Jesus, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, not die, but have eternal life, live forever with God in heaven. <laughs> yes, wow, absolutely. And later in our service, uh, one of our friends is going to be introducing a song that, that tells us that verse that helps us to really learn it. So in the service today, we've got a talk, we've got some prayers, some songs as well, but we're gonna start off with a poem. One of our friends is going to tell us a poem that they wrote for our poetry competition. Coronavirus for me. The sun is smiling, we are not. Rainbows shine, the sun is hot. We miss our friends very much, we just don't talk to them enough. The roads are busy no more, keeping safe matters more. We are very bored, stuck in the room with nothing to do. Well, will it ever go back to normal? And if it does, will it ever be the same? My favourite song is God So Love The World.
I'm Rachel and today we are thinking about the Trinity. There is one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. One God, three persons. God the Father in heaven, God the Son, that's Jesus, who came to live on earth to teach us, to perform many miracles and then to die on the cross for the wrong things that we've done so that we can be forgiven. And God, the Holy Spirit, who when we believe in Jesus, comes to live in us, to comfort, to guide and to help us. Now today, I'm gonna to read a small section from the Bible, and it can be found in the book of Ephesians. Paul wrote this letter to the Ephesians, to the church in Ephesus, and the section I'm going to read to you is a prayer. It's a prayer to the church there. And it talks about the one true God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. And it talks about the great love that God has for us. So I'm going to read this prayer now. The prayer that Paul wrote to the church in Ephesus. But it's a prayer for you too. So I bow in prayer before the Father. Every family in heaven and on earth gets its true name from him. I ask the Father in his great glory to give you the power to be strong in spirit. He will give you that strength through his spirit. I pray that Christ will live in your hearts because of your faith. I pray that your life will be strong in love and be built on love. And I pray that you and all God's holy people will have the power to understand the greatness of Christ's love. I pray that you can understand how wide and how long and how high and how deep that love is. Christ's love is greater than any person can ever know. But I pray that you will be able to know that love. Then you can be filled with the fullness of God. With God's power working in us, God can do much, much more than anything we can ask or think of. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus for all time, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Rachel. Rachel was uh, just talking to us about the Trinity of God. God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. So. With the Trinity in mind, shall we pray? Dear Lord, we thank you for the sun, for the trees, for the birds, for the animals, for the fish in the sea. Father God, we praise you for all of the creation. Help us to look after it. We thank you for Jesus. Thank you that you loved us so much that you sent him to us to teach us and then to die for us. So all of the wrong that we do in our life is covered by his love. Lord, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. And we ask that the Spirit will guide us in our thoughts and our works and in everything we do in the coming week. Amen. We're going to sing now and we're going to sing a song in Christ. <laughs> 